you were just talking about JC. How how is it? How does it feel to have a son going down the same path you went down in the exact same path you went down? I know your role was kind of a little different, but he you, he went first round. Yeah, you know, ever since birth, my children come to this world. I put time in showing them the blueprint. Okay, I, I asked JC a question in the 10th grade. I said, do you want to be an NBA basketball player or do you want to be an NFL football player? He said, Daddy, I want to play in the NFL. Because he had the skills to play in the NBA. A lot of people don't know that. I said, you have to stop doing AAE basketball. And this is for all the fathers and the kids. With all due respect, you can't do both. Your child can't do both. Now, I know I'm skipping. From, I'm, I'm going to get back to the question. I said, you have to give up this AAU traveling on the summer if you're trying to concentrate and be have 50 offers from D1 schools and be on the football level, son. And it hurt him, but he had to sit in that stands and it hurt me to watch guys on that basketball team knowing that he could help them. But I watched him and I said, it hurts right now, but it's going to be glorified in the future for you. That's what I was hoping. Now, God, of course, had JC's plan already planned. Me as a father, I just had to weather him along. So all the achievements that he had, that he have, that he's going to have, um, it's not a surprise to me. So people say, how you feel? I, I feel good. I feel good when I'm sitting beside him and I'm looking at him when we're looking at something on TV or he's showing me his video. When Jacob Jacob scored his touchdown, I didn't jump up and yell and throw popcorn everywhere because my enjoyment and my love is I knew after the game I was going to have my son beside me in my truck and I could cry if I had to cry. Yeah. And I said, your daddy loves you. I'm not going to be jumping up in the stands because I expect you to have five touchdowns. 250 yards and 25 D1 yeah, schools coming. Yeah. So that's why I, that's why it, it, they say how you feel. I, I, my children, I love my children, whatever they do and whatever success that they have, all of them. But I'm not shocked because I know that they're great kings and queens. Mm -hmm. They should be the best of the best because I'm going to show them. Now, they're not going to agree with me all the time. But I say this to fathers, moms, give your kids all you can give them. If it's football camps, if it's basketball camps, if you got to go borrow money, if you got to big invest, invest. Be, invest in your child because you never know what that. My mom used to work and her whole paycheck used to go to a football camp, South Carolina Gamecocks. I went, but it, it, it taught me and it showed me that I can do everything that I that I'm supposed to do. And I tell I tell parents that don't don't bang your kids. To, don't push them to the edge where you got to do this. You got just let them let them grow, but give them the blueprint to be successful. And the most high will take care of the rest.